what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so this will be my spoiler filled spoiler filled review for jordan pills nope movie that comes out this weekend directed by jordan pill written by jordan pill starring danny kalua kiki palmer steven young and a few other individuals who make up the cast such as the character of angel played by brandon perea michael wincock uh, who plays antlers host and a few others like keith david uh barbie from euphoria is also in it for those of you who've been wondering about that because there's she wasn't featured in any footage but the movie again is revolving around the haywoods uh emerald and oj haywood to be more specific after random objects falling from the sky results in the death of their father ranch owning siblings oj and emerald haywood attempt to capture video evidence of an unidentified flying object with the help of tech salesman angel torres and documentarian antlers holst now again i've had a few days to sit on it nope remains the satisfying spectacle i said it was during my spoiler free review again i've had a few days to rest on it consider the other logical flaws that do exist but don't completely destroy the entire narrative like i felt was starting to happen like us with with us his last project and i'm confident in the rating i gave it so jumping into the story after oj and emerald haywood's father again gets killed by a nickel that falls from the sky they are forced to oversee the company and the ranch since they provide horses to hollywood productions to be used for stunts uh, emerald is more open and aj or oj rather is more is more open and extroverted oj is more reserved he seemed to be a lot more dedicated to their father's business whereas emerald has side gigs as she called them uh the relationship between the siblings wasn't explored how i thought it would be or how i wanted it to be but the performances sold me on their banter and the relationship repairs that were happening on screen and it was sold we explored enough to the point for me to be invested in them and their character progressions as it pertains to the plot that unfolds kaluuya and palmer again they have wonderful chemistry and I did mention before that the performances across the board are great although again Barbie who is in this movie from Euphoria uh Cat she felt more like she was just in there for a random cheap jump scare I really wasn't a fan of that she was a nothing character honestly Angel who is the character that comes in to help the siblings as a recently single individual hates his job at Fry's the tech score and is good with camera installation Honestly, he seemed like he was just searching for something to be a part of more than anything. I think that was his arc. Uh, he's a good addition to the trio. They're all likable, but I'd still call him an underwhelming character as far as just considering how much he ended up being involved with the narrative. So what's up with that UFO? Well, we know Stephen Young stars as Jupe, a former child star that now runs Jupiter's claim that isn't too far from the Haywood Ranch. Jupe was a member of a show involving Gordy the Chimp in the late 90s. The Chimp snapped one day and killed every crew member but Jupe. Now, as an adult, Jupe has made a discovery that he believes is a spacecraft with aliens on board. At some point, I guess jupe attempted to tame the ufo and those efforts sparked it to consider this area its home so oj had been selling jupe horses in an effort to save their ranch and jupe has been feeding the horses to the ufo to gain the aliens trust jupiter's claim is just a giant it's just all a setup a, a front to profit off his continued efforts to gain the aliens trust by turning those efforts into a spectacle which again is a big theme in this movie now, when considering Jupe's Gordy encounter in the 90s, I'm guessing that might have left him thinking he had a special bond with animals and taming them or something. Uh, so in the film's twist, it's revealed that there aren't really the aliens you were expecting or might be expecting. The UFO is actually a creature, and that's all I really want to say about that there. It's it's a creature, uh, an unidentified flying creature, I'll call it. Uh, so the script is riddled with commentary also about film crews and how they don't get the recognition they deserve, society's obsession with being first, the cycle of the media, the dangers of child stardom, since that's exactly what Jupe represented, exploitation of animals, and so much more. Uh, my thing is I just felt the narrative wasn't always coherent or might have been too vague at certain points and I again definitely will understand those that come out thinking what was the point of that. Pill is aiming very high here. It's again his most ambitious project and he knocks it out for the most part. The cinematography is truly breathtaking especially the night shots and the shots that effectively make the sky something terrifying to look at the way Spielberg managed to make the water scary with Jaws. He is able to accomplish that here with the sky in Nope. And again, it very much so feels like he's very influenced by Spielberg movies and a little bit of M. Night Shyamalan. Uh, Kaluuya does a really good job selling you on the terror that's established at night with these gazes he does up at the sky. And there is a very tense moment that I'm sure will scare a lot of people. And the pacing in the scene is so, so amazing. It actually allows it to get under your skin a bit. It has actual aliens in the sense of 
what you saw in the trailer that moment did involve what appeared to be aliens but yes as many people thought of it's revealed to be just three kids playing a prank now again a giant part of this film feels like an homage to jaws so that scene makes a lot more sense if you've seen jaws and remember that prank scene that i'm thinking of michael abel's score also factored in combined with that cinematography just makes this an anxiety inducing experience for the most part at times especially if you're someone who maybe has a fear related to the sky the pacing again is another highlight i again can admit that maybe it does start out a bit slow but peel still reels you in with a horrifying event at the start like he's done with his previous two movies he definitely enjoys again taking you on this slow this disturbing experience of a movie that just slowly but surely keeps you on the edge keeps you uneased and then kind of just completely immerses you in this third act specifically which again the entire third act of this movie is a brilliant homage and love letter i would say to jaws i'm literally looking at the movie going that's quint that's chief Brody, so on and so forth like i mentioned in my spoiler free review as for the performances again kiki palmer she was definitely the highlight here for me she was the highlight daniel kalua is amazing as his character but given that this is a more reserved character he was written with he still is doing a brilliant job in the role, but someone has a lot more energy to them and gets to shine a lot more because of that. And that's Kiki Palmer. She is doing she's do, running laps around her other co-stars, I would say. I hope she gets some award recognition. I'm not saying she necessarily needs to win, but I would appreciate seeing her get some award recognition for what she does in this movie. Uh, the movie does have some very emotional moments, maybe some moments that you will come out saying they don't really feel all that earned. The biggest downfall for me, honestly, was just some of the script. A little bit incoherent, didn't feel too focused at times, and probably a little bit too vague. But I think a lot of that might come together for those of you who watch it when you see it as it starts to make sense in the second and third act. Uh, again, beautiful cinematography, some of the best I've seen from him. While I would still say Get Out is his strongest, I would put this as a close second. I just still think that us and that screenplay kind of unravels a bit too much when everything is revealed there. So let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. I'm still giving it a 7.5 out of 10. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video. In the description, I have links to all my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there is any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video